Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am unboxing the Saks Fifth Avenue 25 Days of Beauty Advent Calendar. This year it retails for $225, which went up $5 from last year, it was $220. And per the description on the website, the contents are valued at $560. So here it is, the exterior of the package looks very similar to last year. You have the facade of the landmark Saks Fifth Avenue store with the little window displays here on the bottom. There's a little dog. And on the back, it tells you all the contents for this year. And then it has the little sticker down here that says it's valued at 560. I kind of got a glimpse of what was inside, but I didn't go in depth. Another good thing, it was packaged very nicely. And then the little satin bow here, let's go ahead and unbox it. It opens up like a little book. This is fairly, fairly heavy. It's, it's pretty heavy. You got a lot of stuff going on in here. And let's go ahead and unbox it. I love the setup. I like when it has the refillable drawers that pull out. Everything is very clearly labeled, but it's a little different. Some have, you know, the numbers, some of the numbers are written out. Let's go ahead and start with number one is right here. <laughs> so number one, we have the Balmain Texturizing Salt Spray. I don't have the best experience with Balmain, but that was not necessarily Balmain's fault. It could have been the retailer. I forget which one I bought it from, but I bought one year the Balmain Hair Advent Calendar and it arrived completely damaged and broken. It was missing items. It had leaked. It was. It looked like it was used and returned because the box was ripped. I returned it. So it just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth with the brand. But then I also like the products didn't smell like anything. Yeah, it's it's okay. It smells like hair. I don't really use texturizing salt spray. I didn't look at the individual values. I can break it down later on and include it in the description. But we have here the 50 ml 1.69 ounce Belmon texturizing salt spray and it has a very inoffensive odor. So for me personally, I don't really use this. I probably will go ahead and put this in my pile of beauty products that I'll re-gift to family and friends. For day two, we have, these are nicely packaged inside, so it's not kind of flailing around. Here we have a clay de peau. So for day two, we have the Enhancing Eye Contour Cream Supreme. I don't really have a lot from clay de peau. I'm not as familiar with that brand. It's a very high-end luxury brand, but look at this tiny, cute little gold pot. I do love eye creams and I like testing out little eye creams and get a decent amount here to try out. This would probably last me probably a couple weeks because for eye creams, you really only need a little dab, but let's go ahead and try it. Okay, it's a little harder than I thought. Okay, it's kind of a heavier eye cream. It feels nice. Some eye creams, they burn my eyes as soon as I put them on. So if that happens, I pretty much get rid of it. But this one feels nice and soothing. Day three is over here on the right. This tiny little narrow box we have in here. 111 Skin Celestial Black Diamond Retinol Oil. Ooh, I've never heard of a retinol oil. I've heard of retinols, but usually it's in a cream form, at least the ones that I'm familiar with. Okay, I'll have to try this out. I'm not familiar with this brand. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume it's a luxury brand. Oh, I like that the dropper is angled. Yeah, it smells nice. Very, very light. Like, I don't know how to describe the scent. Kind of like a very high-end cosmetic scent. Like, it doesn't have added fragrances, but it smells pleasant. Day four is right above it. Day four we have, ooh have the Aesop Resurrection Rinse-Free Hand Wash. I've never purchased from them directly. I've passed by their store. It has a very pleasant aesthetic. I like their stuff when I use it, but I've never bought from them. But this is the Rinse-Free Hand Wash, which is so interesting. Alcohol-based hand cleanser for use when running water is unavailable, apply liberally whenever required and allowed to evaporate. So it's just a hand sanitizer, right? I think rinse-free hand wash. Let's go ahead and try it. Yeah, the texture is like a hand sanitizer gel. The scent notes are mandarin rind, rosemary leaf, cedar atlas. Yeah, it's just, it's a hand sanitizer. Oh, very nice. Once the alcohol evaporates, it um, smells very nice and it doesn't feel like overly drying. All right, day five is in here. We have the Hair Ritual by Cicely Paris Lisp Spray Volumizing Spray. Okay, my hair is up in a bun right now, but let me try this out and see if this works. All right, so I haven't tried this yet. The Hair Ritual by Cicely, we have 10 ml spray and it smells pretty good. I guess it gives my hair a little volume. It doesn't make my hair feel 
crunchy, so that's a plus. I will probably go ahead and keep this and try it out and see if it weighs my hair down. Okay, day six, we have something pink peeking out here. Oh, okay, day six, we have two little samples. Charlotte Tilbury, we have the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes sample and then we have the mini little magic oh magic eye rescue that's nice i just thought this was the mini magic cream but this is the eye cream so so far we have two eye creams okay this is nice trying this on all right so we have two i was going to complain <laughs> initially because i'm always bummed to see one-time use kind of samples like this they do make a smaller miniature Pillow Talk Mascara, and that was what was in the Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar. But if you just go ahead and assume the eye cream is the official, like what was in day six, and then maybe they just kind of stuck this in to make it an eye combo, then okay, I guess that's okay. Okay, for day seven up here, we have, what is this? Mask to Brilliance Revive Resurfacing Multi-Acid Mask. I haven't heard of this brand, so I'm curious to look it up. You have a 7ml, so decent size face mask. I appreciate face masks. I will say with these resurfacing masks with acids, you really need to look into the ingredients and make sure it doesn't, you know, especially if you have sensitive skin, which sometimes I do have sensitive skin on my face, especially. So you usually would do a little patch test on your forearm just to make sure you uh, don't have any reaction to this. Okay, so for application, it says at nighttime, apply mask all over face, avoiding eyes, leave on for five to 10 minutes and then rinse off. I'll test it out on my arm first. If that is okay, then we'll test it on my face and then we'll see, see if that works. Okay, day eight is one of the bigger boxes. Here we have, what's this? So for day eight, we have our first fragrance. This is from the brand Inicio Parfum Privé. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't think I've even tried anything from this brand. I've seen it. It's a very high end, like a niche fragrance line. And so they're very well regarded, but I just haven't tried it. So let's go ahead and open it. I'm excited to try this out. Very nice packaging. And you have this outer sleeve, you have this little drawer box. The sleeve said it had three 15 ml fragrances. So that's nice. It says, scan me, feel the power of the hedonist collection. Oh, oh, sorry, I misread it. <laughs> Cause I was like, that seems pretty big. It says three 1.5 ml. Okay, I will try these out. Rehab, Musk Therapy and Paragon. So these look like they are maybe a little more masculine at the very least, uh, they are unisex. So let's try Rehab. This one has like a vanilla musky scent. I have to try these out individually. Let's go ahead and scan it. It looks like it's just a picture, but it's a, it's a QR code. So you see when you scan the card, the website comes up, it's called Rebrandly. It takes you to the website and then from here, it'll give you the information on the fragrances okay paragon kind of reminds me of sauvage like a more like a woody kind of like a club scent <laughs> like a men's club fragrance all right very nice day nine is over here and we have from orveda we have the activated declaw glow activator this is a healing sap face tonic invisible transformation serum Ooh, very nice glass bottle i usually like when there's like a little bit of a stopper for these kind of liquidy serums or even a dropper bottle would be nice let's see wow it's very nice and cool okay this is uh 20 ml of this uh orveda face serum day 10 is right here and we have oh our second fragrance and this is one of my favorites from Gucci, the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. I think right now they have three. They just released their third little flanker of the gorgeous floral fragrances. The second one was Gorgeous Gardenia, I think. And that was in the green bottle. And then they just released Gorgeous Magnolia in the purple bottle, which is very pretty. It's a little sweeter, I think, than this one. This was the original. Let's just test it out on my wrist. So this is a dabber bottle, it doesn't have a spray. Oh my gosh, so pretty, I love this. I have the full size of this, so this is a good little travel bottle. The cap is very tight, so it won't leak. And then it says Gucci right there at the top. They actually just released a three miniature set of all three different Gucci Flora fragrances. Day 11 is down here and we have, oh, 
Another brand I've not heard of, Philip B. Forever Shine Shampoo with Mega Bounce. All hair types. This is an interesting texture and color. Okay, it says transform all hair types with instant dramatic results. Our revolutionary daily cleanser combines the latest high vapor energy with moisturizing botanicals, breaking them into time-released molecules that plump hair from within. Prepare for brilliant shine and bounce that lasts for days. Wow. Gently massage into wet hair, leave on for one to three minutes and rinse. All right, interesting. I am curious about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Mmm, very nice. This smells really fruity. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> I'm traveling soon, so I need a travel size shampoo anyway. Forever Shine. Okay, we'll test it out. Philip B. Have you guys heard of this brand? Day 12 is this big box down here. Day 12, we have Cell Cosmet Switzerland Gel Activator. Wait a minute sensory energizing preparatory gel i don't want to say what i thought this was because i was like why is this in this advent calendar sensory energizing preparatory gel i thought this was something different but <laughs> based on the instructions it says apply morning and or evening on dampened face and neck so this is a sensory energizing preparatory gel for your face and neck okay it's for up there. Leave on for two to three minutes, rinse off with fresh water, avoid unsensitive skin and the eye contour. Okay, so your entire eye area. Oh my gosh, I, I have to try this. What, the, like, what is this? <laughs> okay, again, I am a little bit sensitive, so I'm, I'll try this here first. Yeah, it really does have like an invigorating scent. Is this supposed to wake you up? I don't know why, what does it mean? Sensory energizing preparatory gel. All right, I guess I'll, I'll try it. I don't know. Day 13 is right here. Oh, we have another little twofer. So for day 13, this box was the only one with this little confetti paper so far. Day 13, we have Peter Thomas Roth, Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrating Body Cream. I've tried their face products from this like collection, but I haven't tried the body cream. So that's interesting. Uh, so this is 25 ml and then we have a 5 ml of the Instant Firm Eye Temporary Eye Tightener. I think this is the one that like went viral because it really tightens up your under eye, like eye bags, very visibly and very quickly. So I'm glad that they have these little two for one deals. So kind of like with the Charlotte Tilbury, for one of the early days you have the eye cream and then the mini mascara. This one, you have the body cream and the eye tightener. Day 14 is down here. And we have, oh, one of my favorites from Diptyque, the Roses Mini Votive Candle. It's so fragrant. Smells like fresh roses, like a fresh rose bouquet. Very nice votive candle. Day 15 is right here. And oh my gosh, Kevin O'Quan mascara. I don't know if I've tried their mascara. I really love Kevin O'Quan face makeup. I love his Making Faces book. It was one of the first beauty like coffee table books I ever bought. <laughs> it was such a helpful book about teaching like the art and technique of makeup. I don't know what happened to the brand. I don't really see it around as much. I think, is it still at Sephora? Okay, I don't want to open this up because I want to use this at some point, but we have the Kevin O'Quan Indecent Mascara. Day 16 is up here and we have from Dr. Barbara Sturm, a hyaluronic acid serum in a very tiny 3 ml size. Okay, oh my gosh, look at this little tiny baby bottle. It has a little dropper, which is cute. I think with these skincare samples, you really need a bigger size. 3 ml is, I mean, I think that's a, like three dropper fulls, maybe. You really can't tell all that much from three droppers. 3 ml, this really should have been at least 5 ml, ideally 10, but We'll see. Day 17 is up here on the left. And we have... Oh, okay. This is from Parfums de Marly. This is from their men's collection, the Layton Fragrance, but the shower gel. I love the Delina from Parfums de Marly that's in the pink bottle. And I have the shower gel in Delina and it smells so good. It's my favorite. I use it when I know I'm wearing Delina that day. So actually Layton, I don't think I've even tried Layton. Let's try this out. I'll give this to my husband. I like that it has the individual foil cap to protect it. Mmm, smells good. It smells very woodsy. It says it has notes of vanilla, pink pepper, and precious woods. Very nice masculine scent shower gel. 18 we have down here in this box. Oh, we have another candle. Oh, okay. Maison Francis Kirkjian. I would love a 
perfume but i will settle for the candle and i love the a la rose fragrance so we have the candle so it's nice because we have also the diptyque roses candle and so now we have the mfk a la rose candle very pretty little candle day 19 we have this skinny drawer here we have the olaplex number no. eight bond intense moisture mask i love the olaplex line i love olaplex products i use the shampoo and conditioner if you have really damaged hair it's good to do a treatment mask and i've used the number no. eight before so this is a great little 20 ml size again if you have very long hair this might just be enough for one use this isn't really enough for my hair my hair is pretty long <laughs> but it's a good mask so it's a good way to try it out. Okay, day 20, we have a heavy bottle. Oh, okay, Molten Brown. Day 20, we have the Molten Brown Infusing Eucalyptus Bath and Shower Gel. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm. I actually like to use these for my kids' baths. <laughs> And I like to take baths too, so I like that it's both a bath and shower gel because, you know, some people don't take baths, then you can just use this as a shower gel. I like that this is dual use because whether you take a bath or shower, you can use this in the shower as a shower gel. If you take a bath, you can run this under the water for a nice bubbling eucalyptus relaxing evening bath. So Molten Brown, day 21, we have this little... It looks like a little book. It's so cute. Okay, so for day 21, we have the Keir Weiss Deluxe Sample of the Cream Blush in the shade Blossoming. This pops open. Oh, okay. Keir Weiss is great for their refillable products. So if you love cream products and you like to refill palettes, then this is a great option. This looks like a very nice, neutral, flattering color. I have a fairly tan, medium complexion, and this still looks really good. It looks very natural, like a very natural flushed blush. So very nice cream blush from Keir Weiss for day 21. Day 22 is this big drawer. I think this is the biggest so far. And oh, another duo. So far, this is their third box where it's two products for that day. So for day 22, we have the Luby Rouge Eau de Parfum and the Louboutin Volume Maxima Mascara, multi-dimensional volume mascara. So we have a very nice size mascara here. And then we have the Luby Rouge, which I actually own the full size of this. I love Luby Rouge. It has vanilla. It's just very feminine, very nice fragrance. Check out my review of the Louboutin Advent Calendar. It was a very honest review. Louis Rouge smells so good. Again, I have the full size fragrance and as much as I love Louboutin Beauty fragrances and their makeup, I was very disappointed with their advent calendar. I was surprised it didn't include a lot of their beauty products. It didn't include their mascara, eyeshadows, whatever. So I'm glad that they have these little two beauty samples from Louboutin Beauty. Nearing the end here, day 23, we have, oh, we have from Guerlain, the Abel Royale Youth Watery Oil. This is one of my favorite products from Guerlain. They also have their own advent calendar, which is very pricey. I don't know if I will be picking it up this year, but this is a sample of their watery oil. I don't know that I've purchased a full size of this, but I get by on these uh, deluxe sample sizes. So this is 5 ml. You have these little golden pearls that are suspended in the oil, and then they kind of break up once you apply it. Drop all of that. Oops. I just want to get that bead. Come on. Okay, there it is. <laughs> oh my God, I'm making a mess. Once you apply this, it just breaks up right away. And then this is a great base, especially if you have dry skin. I just love to apply this all over my face and it just gives so much hydration right before makeup. Very illuminating facial oil from Guerlain. Day 24, we have the Augustinus Botter Rich Cream. I love this cream. It is very pricey. I do have the full size and I'm working through it right now, but this is a great way to try it out. Or if you are going on like an overnight trip or just a short weekend trip, you can bring this. This is a 7 ml size of the Augustinus Botter Rich Cream. This is great in the winter especially, but it's just a very moisturizing cream. It doesn't feel really heavy, but it's very emollient and you can just really feel it sinking in and it feels nice and smells pretty good. I think this is another brand where they don't have any added fragrances, so that's good if you are sensitive to fragrance. And then the 25th and final day, we have down here a, another candle, and it's from Nest. This is the Crystallized Ginger and Vanilla Bean Candle. 
Mm, this smells like Christmas. I don't usually like ginger just like as a fragrance. I like it in food, like savory food, not candy, <laughs> but it crystallized ginger. So I guess it's like sh has a little more sugar and then vanilla beans. So this is a great scent in maybe a bathroom or a kitchen. Nest candles are so fragrant. Once you light them, it just fills your whole room with fragrance. It's a great candle to put in your living room. It just like kind of permeates the whole house. And this is a great scent for the winter. It makes everything feel so homey. So that is what we get for day 25. All right, guys, that is everything that was in the Saks 25 Days of Beauty Advent Calendar. I really like the contents this year. I think last year I had a little bit of, not a negative overview of it, but I just like, I don't know, I wasn't as impressed, but I really like the contents this year. I like the variety. I like that they have doubles in certain days of, you know, the two Charlotte Tilbury, you have the two Louboutin, two Peter Thomas Roth, several candles, several fragrances. Good variety. I like the calendar itself. If you just buy this one year, you can always refill it. The packaging is very heavy duty. The drawers are pretty sturdy, but I think it's a pretty good value. Again, this retails for $225 and it has a value of $560. If you plan to use every single item here, it's a great way to try it out. But let me know what you guys think of the Saks Advent Calendar. Let me know what you think of all the brands here, especially the ones that I have not heard of before. I'm always looking to try new things. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this advent calendar unboxing, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye.